Where's the windshield wipers? Why is turn signals? I don't know how to use this truck. People are gonna clown on me already. Oh, here. Uh huh. I'm officially a truck driver. And look, the difference between this truck is it has power windows. What the fuck is this? I had to pay a premium for this truck because it's a gas guzzler. I think this was 150, but I actually got it for 110. But we'll say it's 150, because nobody knows. $150,000 truck right here, sitting in all its glory. Some dude bought it. And when I first wanted to get a semi truck, I told my dealer I wanted a truck like this because I wanted the folding down sides. This is really important because it's literally a flatbed plus a dump truck at the same time. But the, my other white truck is only a dump truck. So you can't put pallets in here, can't put rebar, can't even access anything. Once it's in, it's just dumped. This thing is very special, exactly what I wanted. It was custom built by the guy. He spent so much money doing this and then all of a sudden he wanted to sell it. For every man's trash, there's treasure. That's not how the saying goes. One man's Honestly, trash. I gave you that so I could Another man's treasure. treasure. <laughs> anyway, I bought it. Now I have it. Come look at this. Let's do this one. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Randy! How do you open the sides? I knew it was something. Randy's the only one allowed to drive this thing. So we're gonna go for a ride, but today I just wanna make sure you know that it's illegal for me to drive this truck, but I'll take the risk just for you two. What do, you, do you like this truck? I love this truck. What do you like You could take pallets, you could take yards of sand, mm -hmm. base rock, dirt, concrete. Do you like this one better than the white one? I do. Isn't it crazy this motor is actually smaller than the white one? Yeah, you could definitely feel a little bit of a difference, but granted how much you could take, how much yeah. more you could take. You still get that. Yeah. And this is a gas guzzler, huh? Diesel guzzler. She drinks. A lot. 300 to fill the tank. Is this thing bent? It is. I got the new one right here. It took them months to just put this on. It was a horrible offer. Hey, what do you do every time you drive this truck? Randy took the CDL test. What are some of the inspections you gotta do every time? So basically you have to know about the motor, know about how much PSI you should have in each tire, whether you can recap the tires or not. Front ones you can't because they're the steering tires. The rear ones you can because they drive forward only. What does recap mean? Recap meaning like the thread, the grip. So when these wear down, uh -huh. you can recap them instead of changing the tire. Oh, how yeah. much is that? I'm not sure. Yeah. Cheaper than tire though, right? Yeah, for sure. Wow. You have to know about suspension, the air brakes, any air leaks. And you put these on? Yeah. We had some very ugly dealer white ones. No good. And you can tow with this thing too. Yeah. We have to change that hitch. You haven't towed anything yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not with that hitch. Randy, how do you open this one? Uh, you pull the lever. Flat. Man. Takes a real man to open this, I guess. Now that we've had the official professional tour of the truck, let me give you the amateur tour of the truck and tell you what I like about this thing. First of all, it has blue uh, lug nut covers. I think that's very cool. <laughs> There's another, another side of the blue one. These are really cool. This actually came with the truck. This is what the guy that bought the truck originally did to it. And I'm officially trained to be a motherfucking semi-truck driver. Remember last time I did that? I got really scared. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Dude, oh God. He almost died. So the motor is actually smaller. This is the PX7 and the PX9. So when I was buying the truck, I asked the dealer, which one should I get? And he was like, oh, you have to get the PX9. Bullshit. You don't have to get the PX9. You can get the PX7. This motor is just as good. It's just less power, but it eats less fuel. We're not driving cross country. This motor's fine. Still a massive turbo. I was just seeing if it's hot, but it's not hot. Oh, it's a little hot. It's a little, it's a little warm. Cummins, I know you're gonna say it's a Packard, but it's just a flat six. It is a Cummins. It's just got a different label on it. And remember, if you ever wanna put the hood down, there's this little lever right here. Windows. Windows for days. 
We have an exhaust stack with a very nice design. Holes. What are those windows for? This is if you're ever driving and there's somebody that is hanging here trying to get in, you'll be able to see them and you'll take your shotgun. And Boom! <laughs> That's in the Terminator, by the way. <laughs> Here's the main thing about this truck, it's the bed. This is the money maker right here. You can get sand and base rock at the same time. You can get 20 foot rebars, cause this thing is long. This is a uh, I think it's 18 foot bed, 16 foot bed, one of those. 20 foot rebars, put in sideways, done. You can get artificial turf in, done. You can get six pallets of pavers, put them in, done. Six pallets of concrete, put them in, done. Boys, majority of the time, when you buy equipment like this, you will never drive it. I was very excited about this truck. I was like, oh my God, this is badass. I'm gonna drive it all the time. I literally drove it one time. I got shit to do. I'm Like there's more important things to do for me than drive a truck. Even though I want to drive this thing, it's so freaking cool. But we have things to do. But as of right now, guess what we're gonna do? Drive the truck. Dude, it's been a freaking year since I bought this truck. <laughs> Like T, you're not allowed to drive this thing. You're not licensed to. How can you even know how to drive it? Cause I'm a fucking gangster, bro. You know how the saying goes, right? If you buy it, you can drive it. That's literally written in the Bible. Should we get coffee? Sure. All right, let's go get coffee. The visibility on this truck is fantastic. And oh, see, I mean, I would have, I would have gunned it right there if I was in a car. But we're gonna be safe, and we're gonna wait. Main reason is. Because we're a semi-truck driver, we take our time, and we're patient, we're not impulsive, we're uh, calm and reserved. And that's the thing most of you are lacking. A lot of you want success this year, right now. People always come up to me and say, T, why am I not successful? Why is it taking so long? How are you able to achieve success so quickly? And I was like, what are you talking about quickly, dude? January 3rd was my very first date of business, seven years ago, so I'm going on my eighth year. That is fucking fantastic. To the person that always asks me, I always say this, how long you been doing it? Oh, I've been doing it for a year and a half. All right, you need to fucking relax. How is your life compared to you one year ago? Well, it's totally different. I have another truck, I have two more guys, I have a little office. So you're doing well. Would you rather trade places with yourself last year or you wanna stay this year? No, I'll stay this year. All right, let's shut the fuck up and keep working. A lot of you have no patience and that's why most of you are losers. And if you were just to have somebody that was mean to you, I think you'd be in a much better position. Here's the thing, here's very important. This is the only time where you can be mean to someone is if you want the best for them. All the young people in Go King, I'm mean to them, but I want the best for them. I'm mean to them because they're morons and they make dumb decisions and they should make better decisions. And that's why you're mean to them. Not because you want bad things for them, you want good things for them. Coffee shop is that way. Damn it, can I even make this? Wow, I guess turning here is not as good as I thought it would be. So I'll tell you a secret about coffee shops. You just go up and you take a random person's coffee and it's free. It's the ultimate hack. I know a lot of people, oh thanks. I know I know a lot of people, a lot of people say that you should, uh, you can become a millionaire by skipping coffee shops and making your own coffee at home. Stupid. You just go up and take random people's coffee and it's free and you'll still be a millionaire. <laughs> oh, what a man's truck. Well boys, this is the final tour of the $150,000 truck that I got. This is the ultimate truck, I've always wanted one like this. All you need to know is one day, you need to bone up, man up, and you need to buy something like this because this thing, you don't operate it all the time. Like this thing is, most of the time it's sitting. However, when it is in use, it saves so much time, so much money. But the only downfall to this truck is people without a class A license cannot drive it unless they're me and like to break the rules. Only for YouTube though. It was only for a video, come on. But let me know what you think. Thumbs up the video if you like this truck. I think this truck is literally the perfect little mid-sized truck. The next level up would be a big dog, a big 80,000 pound truck, but it's too much. I don't really care. I have a semi-truck driver that comes and delivers material for me and uh, we'll stick with that. But for right now, this thing is amazing. Three thumbs up if I had three. Kenworth T370, out.